hello everyone this is a very simple tutorial that how you guys can configure gray log in django along with docker file right so first of all let's take a look over the uh, docker file so this is my simple docker file the docker compose file where i'm using version 3.7 and uh, i have defined the services here first one is my web service which is basically a uh, completely Django setup right here I'm using Gunicon to deploy my application right and next is my Graylog service which is depending on MongoDB and Elasticsearch so I have also exposed the ports one two two double zero one two two zero one and one two two zero one for UDP I will use TCP and UDP for this right so now let's take a look over the settings file that what I have done in the settings so that my gray log can work well for example uh, here I have added a gray log middleware this is a Django package which I have installed this Django package gray log right it gives us a middleware which we need to add just after the common middleware which is the default middleware in Django and next we need to define the gray log endpoint right now let's look at my settings I have added the gray log middleware and I have added the gray log endpoint URL here right so that's all and uh, you just need to add docker compose up right and you are good to go um, you can see my gray log is accessible here right I can show you that the uh, oh, docker um, yes. all these web services docker services are running here right and now I'll log in with it. in so I have configured two inputs here one is HTTP Django for the HTTP request it will record all the request for example if someone is hitting this page and it will record this we can update it yep. again hit some random URL this is it's seven o'clock random URL right it will yeah it's being recording right. um, if I go to my home page good it's good yeah oh and here I will also log some additional information here I will show you that how I am logging this actually this package also gives us advanced usage where we can use a request object to log any additional information like here I have created a view request gray log info renders any data I am rendering this data in the gray log right and next one more thing that I have also configured my custom locker here where I am using the UDP endpoint the UDP endpoint is used in this locker my custom locker I, I can show you that how this, this is working so this I need to go inside of the container uh, my container is this right I'm going to the container 
Yeah, my bike can go is available. Yeah, right. The way runs. Sorry, shell. Well, this is the shell utility that Django provides us to run any code interactively. Import logging. I just copy and paste the code. And because there is sometimes uh, the situations that where a request is not available, this object is not available. So that at that situation we cannot use this kind of syntax. And at that, so that's why I have configured my own logger, right? This is very simple. That I use the UDP handler and these are my endpoints you can see my environment file right that's good right so let's look at my another inputs actually i have configured two inputs one is http django and one is udp show sure receive messages Okay, these are the older ones. This is good. Oh, this is good. Right. This is new message without request. This is a new message without request. Everything is working. Well, to configure these inputs, you have need to take care about the ports that which ports you are exposing and which ports you are using here for example i delete the inputs both of the inputs delete inputs okay and uh, i hit this what well, nothing will happen no error will be there right for this you need to configure the inputs first inputs is http launch new input HTTP Django 3 just give any name keep the port 1 2 2 0 1 because we have exposed the these ports here in the docker compose file right and hit the save yeah it's running we are good to go let's update it after one minute now no request is here now it must receive yeah it's receiving the request if you know not found any random URL and it will show you this this is good for the another inputs you need to configure UDP this is a UDP you can also use TCP protocol but for now I am using only UDP launch new input keep the same port because you are exposing this port here for the UDP, right? UDP for Django 3 custom log. Save. Yeah, it's running. Show received messages. Well, it's for this. It's new message. This is a new message without request. I think that's all I will put my entire code in the description below and uh, even my readme file you can look at my readme file that how you can set up a gray log in Django these are the things that uh, these are the reference links which you can use to set up the same things otherwise my code will definitely help you you just need to run the command docker compose Thank you. Thank you very much for your time.